Okay, this is your birth chart. You are a sun in Scorpio. Um, okay, your moon is in Cancer. This is your mind and your emotions, your inner being. So you project your emotions out. If, if you feel something insecure about something, people will feel it right away. And they'll be like, I'm not even scared about you thinking that you're fat because you're not fat. Like something ridiculous like that. Because You know what I mean? And it's like your mom is mothering and nourishing you. So she's a good mommy. But all of it, also, your fourth house is in Scorpio. So you were sexualized when you were a little kid and probably like chaotic when you were a little kid and you were just fighting against something that wasn't even there like wanting to be yourself and pretending like your mom wouldn't let you be yourself but you were being yourself but you wanted someone to discipline you or be something that you can rebel against and you didn't you so you can't cause your own chaos in your own fucking head and you were a little brat but in the public's eye the 10th house is in taurus which makes you look like a beautiful supermodel and that's how you're going to be remembered and aha uh -huh, ta-da look at this fucking ugly oh, yeah. ass face i'm calling the cops you better just eat that poison apple and get it over because it's <laughs> unfair so you are also leo narcissist rising this is the way people see you right away and they might think you're a leo right away i don't even know what i thought i was just was like what's your fucking sign just get over it so you want attention why not you're you got the light and um like you know how Donald Trump, he's a Gemini to face, and he's actually Leo, a narcissist rising, moon and such or whatever. Anyways, so your Mercury's in Scorpio, that's how you think and communicate, so that's good. Your third house is in Libra, so you'll sound really pretty, and you'll be relational and um, flirty, and that's how you'll write about relationships and love and stuff with your hands, so you'll have Libra pretty hands, modeling. See, look, you even have a heart on your hand, and Libra's real marriage, and stuff like that. So you'll be relational, the hands, and it'll probably mean something... What is this, your favorite color? Favorite color, and this is your lover's favorite color? No, I don't have a lover. Really? My favorite color is lavender and beige, and my ex, one of my ex, most Scorpio friends wears green. Uh, anything else? Okay. Groovy. My music, just like the dog from, um, and the dog from Sesame Street, or Method Babies, yeah, he's a Scorpio. Butterflies <laughs> are my favorite insects. And you're a Scorpio insect. Okay, and... From Texas. I love bats so much. Thank you. And I'm a Batman fan. E exactly. I love bats. Bat bitch. Bat bitch. <laughs> You're bad about it. Okay. Um, and your Venus is in Libra, so you want to meet people halfway, but basically you make them go through the whole thing. Like, um, um, some kind of balance bullshit. Your Mars in the Scorpio, which makes you the most violent, jealous sign of all the zodiacs, and probably that's why you've seen hell because you're so demonic expression. And when you get mad and um, stuff like that, that's weird to have that. I wonder what your placement is in that. Like you'll go skits. And it's in the um, fourth house at home. <laughs> okay, your Saturn is in Aquarius, and it's actually in the seventh house of relationships so you could get an opportunity to get married and it could be taken away from you also your father was probably um ecotistical or he was really your friend or he was the one telling you don't talk to those poor people don't talk to those people who are uh gangster looking don't talk to don't dress like that don't get tattoos don't mm -hmm. talk to other color race pe or people it's bad cut your fucking hair don't be a fucking queer i hate yep that's him you know, that's how he would be. And it would teach you either to be an uptight loser and follow that lead or rebel and be like, you know what, Dad? Screw you. I'm going to be myself and I'm going to treat everyone equally and I'm going to talk to all walks of life and you're going to be mad about it all you want and I'm going to be this unique, dipshit, Aquarius, science friendly person and you learned your fucking lesson because that's what lessons it's trying to bring you and it can give you knowledge or take it away from you and that's your thing. And astrology rules Aquarius, rules astrology, discovered it, bitch. So, like... Learn it. You'll learn lessons through it. And if you're not learning it right, it's going to teach you. And you could teach it. And it could give you that gift of all this knowledge of astrology. Because it is the Aquarius know-it-all, wannabe, persistent, friendly bit. And it can take friends away from you, too. And give them to you as well. No matter what pretty shit you are, fake-ass motherfucker, or artificial, whatever it is. You know what I mean? How people are. And it's in the seventh house of being fake. So your dad was probably fake and treated you like a beautiful and, and that object. Just made sure it was balanced. Like, were you fed? Did you do your homework? Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Or bond with you a little bit. Like, what kind of girls you've been with today? Because I want to make you straight. So you better talk to me about your bondings with girls. And that was, you know, about it. And then, like, this could give you a relationship and marriage and, or take it away from you. That's their seventh house of other people, the sh shadow self, the side of yourself that you don't, 
you you keep on uh, attracting everybody like your fucking dad. Everyone's just like your dad or weirdos like Aquariuses that are are just outcasts. You'll be attracting to attracting all of them, but you see them as all different from you because you're this Leo narcissist. You're like, look at me, look at me. I get unearned attention, and then look at all y'all outcasts. Keep on coming to me and talk, trying to teach me about astrology. You have that center thing like me. And then you'll, and, and, but secretly you are kind of like the South Cast Aquarius. And secretly you are felt like that because your dad traumatized you in that way. So you know what that feels like. So you can be kind of intuitive to the other people. And then your Uranus is in Capricorn. Your revolutionary thing at work and career and reputation. Your Neptune's in Capricorn. Cameras. Your Pluto is in Scorpio. Yay. Your Lilith is in Aries. So you're like a now or never kind of person. And um, people don't want to see you um, explode. And you do it anyways. And you become proud and arrogant about yourself. Uh, or something like that. And it's of the ninth house of adventures and gambling and expansion. And that's an area, so that's your, that's your uh, philosophy. That's how you go to bed uh, with like a war with yourself to go into bed or with others. And then when you wake up, you're like this fake Libra, like uncompetitive person. You're all about love. And she like that when you wake up the third house, that's how you write and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the simple minded jerk who goes to bed like ninth house and arrogant and stuff like, like, oh my God. And then you wake up like a Libra, like, your eighth house is your death house. This means you might commit suicide. Nope, I need coward. Well, what you did was commit suicide. You burnt yourself. No, no, on no, accident? On purpose. No, it's oh, a no, house no. fire. A house fire. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. That's fucking crazy. You could be poisoned. You could be doing drugs and kill yourself all that because that's eighth house Pisces things. Or you could drown. This is your death house. It's wrong. Hold on. I had a dream that I drowned, actually. Well, there you go, bitch. Where at? I was on prop. Uh, well, it looked like Florida. I was on vacation, and I drowned. The boat sunk, and everything, and I drowned. Wow. Well, fuck. How are you gonna prevent that? We don't know, cause we don't know. To, to just the other day, um, my friend said, "I see a car going into water," and I, and I'm like, "What color was it?" He's like, "You don't believe me?" And I'm like, "No, it's not that. I just want to record it too, so you, you we got you saying it." Just in case it does happen. And like 15 fucking minutes later, I was the one going into the fucking water. I couldn't see. I was lost like a Pisces is. And my car was all under fucking water. And once I backed up and got out, woo, 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 this fucker arrests me saying you tr trespassed. Well, you're the one that made me do it because you went past the separated cones. And I thought, oh, it's okay. My GPS is telling me it's okay. And it turned, tell me to go right, right into the fucking water. And bam, you didn't say congratulations for getting out of the thing and show me how to get the fuck out of here. No, you just arrest me on the spot. What the fuck is shit? Now I'm out of jail. That just happened. Okay. Your 12th house is cancer. The mother nourishing family uh, per, per person. That's how you get closer to your soul and your at home comfort zone. And um, your second house is Virgo. And your 12th house is cancer. So your second house is the left eye. That's the eye you want to show everyone. That's how you, if you want a picture taken, they'll be like, it's not this side. It's this side. Right? Yeah, it is. And then this side is the emotional side and age is faster, which you don't look anything, you look ageless, but this side is like the mothering side to people. The nourishing side, you'll keep them. But this will be the side that you're critical of and of yourself and critical eye on others when you look at them. Sure. But you also want your picture taken on the perfectionist side because it's Virgo. And this is Cancer. The in, emotional side and it's also the the sentimental side or whatever the fuck anyways that's part of it your face and shit the leo narcissist king want to be break with their pride showing and like you don't want to get mad because your ego and stuff but you when you get mad you get violent and jealous because you're mars and scorpio yeah i do get well and jealous i'm calling the cops okay <laughs> and and then, and that's at your home too, at how at your house, controlling at home. But in the public side, you're all stable and calm, and and you don't want to get mad because you don't want to mess with the pleasure in life. That that person might buy my um go Boy Scout cookies. That person might do whatever, and I might get a massage from that person. Well, I don't want to upset anybody. But when I'm at home, <laughs> everything you just flip out, flip out into a psycho, controlling that case and a chaotic sexualized person. I'm calling the cops. And that would be like in relationships too. You're gonna watch out with these people with Venus and Libra, where you want to meet them halfway, but you're like making them meet you all the way, which is weird. You know what I mean? You want it to be fair, but then again, you don't know what is fair. It's over the limit. It's imbalancing. That's weird because it's in Venus. It's at home with itself. The beauty, and you act like it. 
Okay, and your Jupiter is in Libra, so you'll be lucky with being beautiful. You'll be lucky with relationships as well as, uh, and you'll be lucky with writing because your Jupiter is in the third house, so you are your writer, right? Yeah, bitch, you can publish that shit and get it on. Like, if you aim at something like that, writing and publishing things and communicating, you'll be so lucky with that. I want to be a journalist. Well, there you go, and that's a good thing to do. Does so, awesomepossum.com, right? And then... Okay, your life purpose here, what you lack, is a Sagittarius bullshit, like gambling with life, traveling, your philosophy, and it, it shortcuts because you're you're always going back to this Gemini thinking person who's just ADD and wants to be in the community and doesn't have to learn things that are foreign because you can learn it all around here in the community. And and um, with your hands, you're all good with that, and you teach that. And then also your life purpose that you lack in your game and gain is the home and family itself and the mother kind of things. I don't know. Is your mother still alive? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, let's say the way you heal yourself, you're a perfectionist and day-to-day -day routines kind of thing and doing, you know, like laundry and shit and cleaning makes you heal yourself. Like you feel like it's out of perfection and you thought it was perfect. And then you have to re heal it by being doing all that perfection OCC things. Is that it's you? It's like I'm on dope, yeah. Yeah, that's what the fucking thing in Kron and with the relationship with animals. You might not even want to have an animal, but it's very healing to you to have an animal. But you might not even want it because it's like, oh my God, it's going to potty and I have to be at work because working helps me and, and heals me. And you'll be like, I don't want nothing to do with the fucking animal. But it's telling you your relationship with animals will heal your dumbass and why you go work and have a day-to-day -day routine. And then your sea rest is an Aries. This is how you heal other people. By being just yourself, being a leader, being um, so survivalist person, being outspoken and being like the Lilith and Aries living now or never mm. and on the spot. Living in the moment and creating moments for others to, just to live in and being a hero and sticking up for people. It's I am a hero, how actually. How you heal people. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. about that? Uh, I was in uh, Santa, yeah, Santa Barbara, California. And this little girl's drowning in a pool. No one seen her yes. except me. Yes. And she did drown, and I res uh, did uh, CPR on her and resuscitated her. Okay. So, yes, I am a hero. Yes. She was seven. Yep. Yes. And no one watched her. Like, her parents didn't care. Yeah, that is exactly what a Lilith and Aries would do and has to do, live now or never. And Sirius and Lilith, Aries, how you heal other people. And that's such an Aries hero thing to do. Slayer, bitch. Yes, such a I, good I gotta story. start heading home so I can okay. go to bed. Okay. Uh, hey, if you ain't doing it tomorrow, we can do this too. I get off at three. Yes, but yeah. Okay. I'll show you what apartment I live in so you can knock. Cool. Juno, Libra, Vista, and Pisces. Oh, you got that. You could be psychic. Oh, you I already am? did do that and you're a psychic. Mm -hmm. What? Tell me stuff. Really? Yeah.